TSCL globe is a quarter of a mile long and weighs 186,000 tonnes. But more than this, it's the ship's capacity for a record 19,000 standard 20-foot shipping containers that makes it the world's largest container ship. The globe set out on her maiden voyage from Shanghai, China in December and arrives in the UK at the port of Felixstowe today. But as the recent running aground of a container ship in the Solent proves, this is no easy task. Mark Morrison is the pilot at Felixstowe with the unenviable job of parking this record-breaking vessel. So how is this going to work today, Mark? What's the process of bringing the globe in? Yeah, we're going to um, board the ship um, 15 miles offshore. Once we're in that deep water channel, uh, we, we can't turn back. We're actually committed uh, to the port from that point. And then negotiating our uh, beach in turn and then berthing the ship port side two onto number nine berth of Felixstowe. So we've got to have about 1.6 metres under the keel. Right? Um, what does that mean, under, under, under keel? clearance means the distance between the, the, the bottom of the hull to the seabed. It's, right. it's 1.6 metres, so it's fairly tight, but we, we, it's a normal sort of tolerance. We allow 10% under keel clearance. Do you get nervous because this is, you know, the largest container yep. ship in the world? There is pressure, but uh, we're used to pressure. We've actually um, done a huge amount of simulation on this ship, so we know how it handles, we know what the limitations are. But still, does the adrenaline get going? It does. You know, certainly when you're um, obviously approaching the beach end turn here, which is a 90 degree turn before we get into the harbour, when you're approaching the berth, uh, the, the adrenaline is, 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 is working, you know, and that uh, obviously improves, uh, improves the job, actually, to be honest. Uh, so you need that sort of pressure to, to keep you at uh, the top level. We've been given exclusive access to film Mark making this most critical of dockings. This is the first time ever in the UK that this ship has docked, so the pressure is really on. It's slow but steady progress as the globe makes its way gingerly through the English Channel. Meanwhile, back at the port, Steve Griffiths, head of container operations, gives us the lowdown on unloading this giant of the seas. Are you feeling the pressure today? It's a phenomenal size vessel. She's stacked up with a 19,000 TUs currently. What is actually in the containers? Everything you're wearing, that you consume, that you drive around in. Uh, what you've got coming through here now is for the spring and the summer season. So our barbecues, our garden furniture. Are you going to get it finished in time? It's a 24-7 operation in Felixstone. Uh, work will be continued. We're now about to com uh, commence the vessel and she will work seamlessly all the way through. If we're delayed, we incur charges for the line. The line will have to spend more money on the fuel to get to the next port, or it may even miss its window in its next port also. It's been two slightly anxious hours since we dropped off Mark on the globe, and now here she is, a safe and successful docking for the world's largest container ship. Now all they have to do is unload 19,000 containers. Good luck with that. watching. Please share and subscribe. Your Sea Lad.